Broadcasting from Studio 300 on Cal Poly's campus, you're watching Mustang News. Special edition of Mustang News. I'm Gina Randazzo. Cal Poly's Engineering Without Borders chapter has been doing big things for communities all around the globe for 11 years, and now the Nicaragua team is embarking on their next big project. Materials engineering freshman Carolina Cleland quickly attained the position of project manager during her first year of college and is directly involved in a new project to install a water filtration and distribution system to a village in Nicaragua. Joining me today is Carolina Cleland. Thanks for being here, Carolina. Of course. So, um, how did you get started with um, Engineers Without Borders in the first place? I went to the first general meeting, which had every single travel team there, because we also have a team in Thailand, Malawi, and India. But I decided to go with the Nicaragua team because I lived in Mexico for five years when I was younger, and I speak Spanish. And so I figured I'd be more helpful there. So I joined the team, and I ran for communications lead, which is in charge of all communication with the community in English and in Spanish. And then later, a position for project manager opened up, so I ran for that, too, and I got it. Cool. Um, was it intimidating coming in as a freshman? Yeah, but both of the project managers before me started off as project manager when they were freshmen, so I figured it was doable, so I just kind of did it. Cool. <laughs> um, so kind of tell me about the project you're working on now in Nicaragua. The project we're working on now, we're working in a community called Cuajachio, which has 150 houses, and only 10 of them have water piped directly to their house. So we're working on piping the water from their well up a hill and putting that in the big tank, and then it can be gravity fed down to all the houses. So can you tell me a little bit about um, what you did on your last trip? On our last trip, we tested the water that was in the community to make sure that it was good enough. and. We're still going to have to do some in-country water testing the next time we go to be 100% sure. And we also implemented surveys in every single house in the community to make sure that they all wanted this project to be done. Because the whole point of Engineers Without Borders is to like make projects that are helping everybody in the community and that they're going to be able to keep working with and using when we leave. Cool. And um, so what are the next steps? What are you doing on your next trip there? And when is that going to be? Our next trip is going to be this summer, and we're going to be surveying the land so that we can figure out where the piping is going to go and the elevation of everything and how much pipe we're going to need. And we're also going to scout the area for local materials because we build everything with materials that we buy in Nicaragua. And then our team is going to be able to start their design. They've already kind of started now, but we can't really start until we have all the surveying done. And after we do the design, then we're going to have to implement it throughout many trips because it's a big project. Cool. And has it been fun so far? Yeah, it's been really fun. I really love working with Engineers That Borders. It's a really cool club. Cool. Well, um, that's all the time we have. Thank you so much for joining us. And good luck to Carolina and the rest of the Nicaragua team on their big project in Nicaragua. Thanks.